In this video, we are going to look at RabbitMQ's message reliability systems. Message reliability is an important concept because if you use a distributed system, you don't want to lose any messages sent from one client or one application to another because this would mean losing information and potential customers or anything. This should be avoided in most cases. There are different mechanisms for ensuring reliability of your messages. The first one is on the publisher side. So when you send a message to the broker, you want to have insurance that this message really arrived at the broker because the network can fail for various reasons and you want to be sure that this has not anything to do with the network but maybe with a bug in the application or something so you want to ensure the broker in the end is stable there's the publisher confirm and the publisher transactions then on the other hand if you want to consume a message there's also something to ensure consumer reliability which is called consumer acknowledgement. And we already saw this with the basic ACK methods before in our examples. We didn't talk too much about it, but now you will see how and why this is important. There are also durable queues, which are able to survive a broker restart and the concept of persistent messages. So they are written to disk if the broker shuts down and you don't lose any messages. This is important for maintenance and other issues of server upgrades and stuff like that. So consumer acknowledgements, we also saw the basic acknowledgement and the concept behind this is you get a message from the queue, then you process the, the message. And if there's no exception or any not expected behavior, you then send a basic act to the broker. So the broker can remove the message from the queue. So this in the end ensures that the message is correctly processed in the case of your application. Then from the AMQP standard, the other way to not acknowledge or negatively acknowledge is the reject method. The reject method simply says, okay, we got this message, but I can't handle it for various reasons. The reason is not really important. The only thing that is important is that it's rejected. So the queue will then not delete the message. RabbitMQ also extends this concept with the basic NUC because basic reject only allows for one message at a time, but basic NUC allows for multiple messages to be acknowledged in a negative way. So to say, okay, I can't handle all of these messages, simply use the NUC. Then on the other hand, we have the publisher confirms. From the ANQP standard, it's called transactions, but the problem with this is they are really, really slow. And this is the reason you should avoid this. Later on in RabbitMQ, they created something called the confirms, which is used on the basic publish. How this works in general is the broker assigns an ID if you put the channel in confirm mode. So this is important. Before you publish, the channel has to be moved in confirm mode. Then the broker assigns IDs and you have to handle the IDs on your own. This is something the broker won't do for you and the channel won't be changed. That's just simply because it's in confirm mode, but it will put an ID on the delivery tag of every message. And with the RabbitMQ client, for example, you can subscribe to events of the basic ARC and NAC. So the broker sends also an ARC or an acknowledgement, but this is a little bit different from the consumer. It just mimics the behavior, but it has nothing to do with the consumer acknowledgement. If the broker really gets the message, it sends an acknowledgement. If the broker tries to route the message on an exchange, then it gets a knock back to the publisher. And this is only happening if something in Erlang failed. So if the message is not routable to any queue or something, this will not send a knock. This is important because you might expect you get a knock when the routing does not pl take place. But in the end, you only get ACK if it's fine with the broker and NUC if it's not fine. So the broker itself failed. Here's a little demonstration or illustration of how this works. We have a publisher and an exchange in the RabbitMQ broker. We send or publish a message and it will be assigned the ID one. When we send a second message, it will be the ID two. So it counts from one upwards on each channel. So for each channel, you get the same starting count with one. So you have to manage this in an internal stack your own in the application. Then if the message is correctly handled, it will send an acknowledgement or a publisher confirm act. On the other hand, if something went wrong in the exchange or in the Erlang processes, the broker sends a NUC message. So then the publisher gets 
when it's subscribed to the basic not possible to republish any messages or handle it in any other way. So for example, you can store it in the event store or write it to a database or simply republish it and hope for the best. So this is the basic idea behind message reliability. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video where we will implement publisher confirms with the RabbitMQ client for .NET.